Hey stylish fans, Elizabeth Cott here for Closet Rich. Today we're checking out the closet of Layla Kaylee Covino. You might recognize her from MTV's America's Best Dance Crew or G4's Attack of the Show. I hear she has a really amazing rags to riches story and I'm equally as interested in checking out the riches in her closet. Let's go. My name is Elizabeth Cott, and I believe you can learn a lot about a person from the contents of their wardrobe. Join me and get inspired as I take you into the esteemed closets of celebrities and fashion icons. We'll then choose items from their closet to be auctioned off, and through eBay, you can bid on some of their favorite pieces and make your closet richer. The proceeds will be donated to benefit a cause close to their heart. This is Closet Rich. Coming, come inside. Thank you for having me. You don't have to take your shoes off here or anything. I'm, I'm all about the heels. Good, because that would ruin the outfit. So, tell me about your style. My style, I feel like I'm half drag queen, half pageant queen. Because I grew up being a tomboy for the longest time and my mum used to shave my head like made me look like a boy from head to toe. So now I just have this obsession with anything sparkly, glittery. So if it was up to me, I'd go out the house, like sparkled out, you know? So what was the shift from tomboy to bombshell? You know, I when I was 15, I kind of was by myself, no parents. I was kind of thrown into the world and I learned very quickly I could be a victim or I could be victorious. You know, it was like when J-Lo was coming on the scene, I saw these very glamorous, exotic women and, and Daisy Fuentes was on MTV and I just thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever, I'd ever seen. And so I just started to experiment with makeup and clothes and, you know, I was like, oh, I can be a girl and I can style my hair like this. And I feel like being feminine or being you know, owning who you are isn't always what you're wearing, it's your attitude and like owning your, yourself and your confidence. So what brought you from the UK over to the States? When I was 18, I was starting college and I was like, this isn't what I want to be doing. I want to be interviewing people and I really wanted to work for CNN. So I thought the CNN headquarters were in Los Angeles, so I came here with my suitcase. I wanted to intern at CNN and work my way up and be like Christian Amanpour or something. And, uh, and I got to LA and they're like, the CNN headquarters in Atlanta. And I was like, what? I was crushed. I'm not moving to Atlanta, you know? So I, I came out here and I kind of just started my hustle and um, I learned very quickly that in Los Angeles, you know, everyone comes out here to, to pursue their dreams. So you kind of have to do things a bit different and unconventional if you want to be noticed. So via the gift of hustle, right. you <laughs> suddenly were, went from being off camera to on camera. Yes. What was that like in terms of all of a sudden now having to figure out what you're going to wear? I think where I get to be my self the most is when I do red carpet events and I get to wear whatever I want, as outrageous as I want it to be and you know it's like, and I love that, I really love playing dress up but now I'm, you know I'm a mum now so I don't dress like this every day, you know, it's so, but it's so much more fun now for me getting dressed up and putting on a dress and washing my hair and you know because I appreciate it more now so that's why I got so dolled up for you today. Oh, appreciate you know? it so much. I love mm -hmm. a girl that loves a sequin. I'm very good. <laughs> so at its core Closet Rich is all about charity. What charity would you like to donate to? So my charity that I want to donate to is called Operation Homefront that helps servicemen and women that are coming back or those that have been injured to kind of help them settle back into the community and and help them just shift into a way of life here as opposed to abroad and you know serving the country. So let's go check out the closet. Let's do it. Come Wonderful. On in. All right, so check this out. Come on in. Let's see it. I've got a few closets, but this is the one that's the most tidy. Okay. So I'm afraid to show you the others, but here it is. -da -da. Lots of color. Wow. Those are some serious platforms everywhere. I love heels. What can I say? I mean, if I could wear heels hiking, I would, but I don't. You know, I've seen you everywhere from The Insider, MTV, interviewing people. Right. What was that kind of like amazing moment where you kind of looked around and were like, 
I can't believe I've gotten here. I, you know, when I when I had my daughter, I took a couple of years off. And then I got an exclusive sit down with Lady Gaga, and you know it. It, it was my dream come true, but it was like I hadn't interviewed anyone in two years and then here I am thrown into this like intimate setting in a hotel room with Lady Gaga. It's not like you're on the red carpet and there's a million people. It's like one on one, three, two, one, action, go. So that was like very surreal and um, for that actually I wore this, this like it's like a little cashmere dress and this is vintage too and it was just very, very simple for these kinds of things I try and be a bit more conservative so yeah that was a very awesome moment in my career I feel like because when you do something like that it's almost like wow you know this is what I always wanted and look I got it so it was very cool what are some of the items that you'd like to give away to raise money for Operation Homefront well, you know it's going to be sparkly and like fabulous because you know how I am. It but be. Um, I love this lady called Sherry Hill. She actually makes pageant and prom dresses, but I love wearing her dresses on the red carpet because I don't care. For me, it's a prom every day of the week. So um, I actually bought this dress. This was one of the first dresses that I, I bought by her. and. Selena Gomez and, and a bunch of other girls have, have worn this dress and you know it's very Cinderella-ish kind of but um, this I would love to give for Operation Homefront if you think it's absolutely it's so you know I am a bit out there hopefully there's someone else out there that will appreciate my sparkle obsession I was say, it's so indicative of you and everything that's going on I here know. and it's perfect it's beautiful I will be sad to say goodbye to you, but it's for a good cause, my friend. Someone else will take good care of you and their boobs will look fabulous in it. Okay, so you know I don't really wear black anymore. I'm not a big fan of black. And, you know, but I do love this dress. It was Marciano. It's one of my favorite dresses that I've had. It's lace, like, on the inside. And I don't know, I, I do love it. It's very, I know, it's very old Hollywood kind of glam, I, was just I think. I just gonna no? say that, yeah. This style, like I think anyone could look good in Versace or whatever, but I always say, show me a girl on Forever 21 or Gap who's really rocking it, and to me, that style, you know, like Absolutely. that's someone that has style. And then lastly, you know, I was thinking about it, and because this cause is very close to my heart, I do not want to part with this dress, but because you say I'm just a sparkle queen and this is like, you know, me. I think I'm gonna have to, to give this to someone that's gonna make good use out of it. This dress, actually I wore to my very first uh, MTV Movie Awards. So this holds sentimental value and I was three months pregnant when I wore this and no one knew. I've held on to it, I haven't wanted to let it go. You know, it's when I was pregnant with my daughter and everything, but if it means raising some money for Operation Homefront, then I'm willing to part with it. I love that. So we've got this one, this one, Sparkle-licious, yes. right? And this black dress, which I love. Definitely though, all three of these will make whomever new home they go to, the closet will certainly be a bit richer because those are some fabulous pieces. Layla, thank you so much for having me over to your house and checking out your colorful, sparkly, fabulous closet. Thank you for coming. Thanks for not judging me for my taste of being a five-year-old girl playing dress up, but um, yeah, thank you. I had fun and I hope you get some good donations for those pieces for Operation Homefront. We totally will. Thank you. I had so much fun hanging out with Layla. Her personality is just as sparkly as her wardrobe. And now you can own three pieces from her closet. All you need to do is check out the information on the eBay auction below with all of the proceeds from the sale going to her charity of choice, Operation Homefront. Until next time, I'm Elizabeth Cott. Stay closet rich. God, I mean, sparkles. You know, you think I would have outgrown this sparkle phase, but I think I'm going to be 80 years old and sparkly hat and sparkly cane and everything.